Hello everyone, FNS on the stream a month ago said that uh, Yoru will be meta, unfortunately I didn't even know that he said that, so I'm reacting a little bit late, but I would like to say that I disagree with him, but first, let's listen to what he said. Let him be overpowered now, I understand why you would say that from like a fan perspective, but you have to understand we compete in this game, so when they break an agent like that, it makes the game pretty one-sided sometimes, like it means you have to play this agent now. Exactly, Chamber dominated all of 2022. Literally, the entire 2022 was dominant by Chamber, right? And lo and behold, he was the best fucking, most used agent in the whole fucking, the whole year. Because he was so strong. And now they're doing the same thing with Yoru. It's literally just going to be the exact same thing. Yoru's going to be played to like, half the year. And then everyone's going to be like, oh, this is a little overpowered. A sudden, why is Yoru suddenly OP? Bro, he has three flashes. His ult is unbelievably strong because he can do everything while he's ulted. And he can fake TP in any time he wants to, which means it, it, it makes the other team reposition to see if it's a fake TP or not. You have to check, which means you have to move your position to recheck. Yoru is more entertaining than Chamber. Who gives a fuck? All right, so let's react to what FNS said. Um, he makes a point about the fact that Chamber was, you know, the most overpowered agent so far in the game, and he was... Because of that, picked in um, in every single map and every single match. Now, let's go point by point, right? Chamber has a huge difference when you compare him to Yoru, right? You can also just go check my compendium about the agents, by the way, to see like the, this, those differences. But the main difference between Chamber and Yoru is the fact that there's the complexity aspect of it, right? Um, when you when you take a look at the uh, at the file. Chamber has, in my eyes, a 3 out of 10 complexity, and before the nerf, it was actually even lower, 2 out of 10, um, in my eyes, and Yoru has a 10 out of 10 complexity. And the thing is, Chamber's overpoweredness came from raw power, not something that you will see from Yoru. Yoru doesn't have an operator that, with a press of a button that kills a person, you know, in a leg, that was before, right? Uh, or And then slows an area, and you have two lives every single time because the TP from Chamber is so fast and even faster on LAN, right? So you could have just plugged in a player into Chamber who, who never played Chamber before and he would have performed better than on any other agent most likely, right? Specifically if he was a pro player. There was a very low skill uh, floor on that agent and that's why he was so oppressive. With Yoru... It's the complete opposite. I agree with FNS saying that Yoru is strong. He was always strong, even with the first iteration. People just never explored Yoru. Uh, he was, of course, weaker before the remake, uh, rework. But he was still useful and strong. Just people didn't explore that area, right? Because people like to bandwagon and just circle jerk. With the rework, Yoru became way, way more, um, you know, uh, got a little bit of spotlight. His footsteps became way more useful to different um, for different tasks and his ultimate became also a very very wide um, ultimate when it comes to the options right so he became even more useful but he still wasn't in the spotlight one because people don't want to you know break old habits because Yoru is a troll pick right that's what everyone says everyone says that Yoru was the worst agent um, and two he requires mastery. And this is why I think he will never be meta. Because when you think about it, you cannot just slot in a player, even though pro players have thousands of hours uh, in, 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 uh, in Valorant, they don't have the expertise, in most cases, on Yoru. With Chamber, you can have 50 hours on Chamber as a pro player, and you're going to play almost at the same level as someone who had hundreds of hours on Chamber like any other pro, because they already are good at the game, and they, there was so little variance in, in playing Chamber that you didn't have to go for like an expertise, essentially, right? With Yoru, you have to sacrifice hundreds of hours to be certain that your scenarios that you will play out in the game will be tried and tested, right? Because there's so many options. There's so many things you can do. And so not only a team needs to have a player to sac that, that, that sacrificed hundreds of hours to play your rule, then the entire team 
has to work with Yoru to make him successful or Yoru needs to make the team successful. Again, a stark contrast to when you play with Chamber. You just slide in a Chamber into a team composition and he kills. And that's it. That's the, that's the complexity of Chamber. That was the complexity of Chamber. That was, that's why he was meta and that's why he was so strong. There was almost no work required for the teams to perform better just because the raw power of the agent was so huge, right? With teams, uh, sorry, with Yoru, that's not the case. The entire team has to sacrifice collectively hundreds of hours to make this work. You can see from PRX, we have, we have Forsaken on my stream and we were talking about and he was showing me the lineups that they are using, I was showing the lineups that I am using, we were exchanging experiences on Yoru and there was like our experience on Yoru were like completely different, even though both of us have hundreds of hours on Yoru, right? Think about it. Like my, of course, I'm a solo queuer, right? So, of course, my experience was going to be a little bit different. But my lineups that I was using was completely different from what Forsaken was using, right? And then he learned something from me and I learned something from him. Even though I will not use the support flashes that he was using for the team, I still learned something. And he learned the more, like, let's say, um, selfish plays from my lineups and my setups, right? So now when you think about it, like, there's so many options when it comes to Yoru that you require your team to essentially build a composition around it and build strategy around it. And that's everyone working to make that one agent successful. Is that worth it? I cannot answer you because I'm not on a pro team, right? And that depends on the way that the pro team works, but I think it's a case by case. Some teams might play him, but it's going to be a rare, rare, really occurrence. I don't think it's, it, Yoru is ever going to be meta. He's just too complicated. That's it. You know, so as much as I would love to see uh, Yoru being picked in, in most of the matches because he's just a fun agent to watch and he's insanely strong, I don't think it's going to happen. But I do agree with FNS when he says that he is a little bit overtuned, I think. Um, his flashes didn't need that buff that they got, you know, with the duration. I don't think that was ever necessary. Uh, his ultimate is insanely strong. Um... But I, uh, you know, for in a team setting, he's actually getting even stronger than in solo queue. In solo queue, he's pretty strong. But in a team setting, when a team works with him, they can literally use every single piece of kit to its maximum, right? And the ultimate from Yoru is like a Sova drone on steroids that has also a flash equipped. And there's a high chance that you can get a kill. And also, you have an insane amount of synergies. Uh, fade, fade with uh, with um, with Yoru is absolutely nuts. You can just, you know, like um, deafen all the opponents with the ultimate. They don't even know that you're gonna be next to him or behind them because they don't hear the TPs, right? Paranoia from Omen does the same shit. Like, uh, th like there's there's so many things that you can do with with Yoru is absolutely insane. Breach ult and stun is fantastic with Yoru as well. But again, requires planning, experience, practice. Hours and hours and hours put in to make this work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short rant about Yoro. I'm sorry this is a little bit late, but I was actually not aware that FNS said that. See you guys next time.